Now let's move. This is one other trend that will reshape our world. Market volatility, business models, and circular economy. As gradually, with small steps, we are moving to circular economy, the ownership relationships are changing. What's happening now? Many of the things in the future, they will be leased. So you will use them for the time you want as a service, and then you have to give them back to the producer. That means that there is a huge new world about changing the current business models. Either they are in waste management, in gadgets, in carpet production, or in homes. And these new business models will determine the viability of circular economy for many, many years. So I bet that here there is a huge space for improvement, for cutting costs, for creating new types of partners between public and private sector. And not only that, there is a huge space for social innovation. Social innovation is not so much related with technical innovation and scientific invention, but is mostly related with our ability to take an idea and apply it to our society, to innovate culturally, socially, and literally, to provide solutions to our society, even if this includes no real technical development. Social innovation is the key issue to apply circular economy concepts to the developing world. And I'm sure we will have a lot of that. Recently, I completed a study on social innovation in waste management in Africa. And I have to tell you, I was really surprised by the findings. 